welcome to Shark Week on Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Hammerhead, half man, half shark, total terror. Directed by Michael Oblowitz, starring Jeffrey Combs, William Forsythe, Hunter Tylo, and Arthur Roberts. This movie is about this guy's son, Paul. He had cancer. Super bad. The only way to save him was to turn him into a hammerhead shark. Now he's more shark than human. And then he had to invite everyone he ever met in his entire life to an island to be killed because they didn't fucking believe in him first. Sidebar, somebody needed to get knocked up by this shark man. So what do we like? I'm kicking it off with the concept. The idea of turning a human into a shark is a brilliant concept. There are some rollerblades on these shark men and you got street sharks. Half shark, half man. Well, no one ever took the balls to make a movie where they crossed a shark with a man until now. 2005. This movie had a ton of memorable actors. I remembered all of them. And I hadn't seen this movie in like 10 years. So I think they're famous or I just like really remembered them. Some people are famous. We have Jeff Combs, which is great, obviously, Reanimator. You'll never get credit for my discovery. Who's going to believe a talking head? Get a job and a side show. Would You Rather is probably what most modern horror fans would know him as. Yes! What the hell is this? Decision making in its rawest form. He had the same pencil mustache. He's good at it. You're typecast, but it's okay. You be the crazy mad scientist. He was. He was such a good mad scientist. Where's that fine line of being mad and a good father? If I am unable to successfully get him to reproduce, I fear that he will continue to degenerate, becoming some sort of primal killer with no human consciousness. You're making me question myself. <laughs> so the ex-fiance, she thought he died five years ago, did she say five? Paul died five years ago of cancer. And then he's like, no, 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 I just spliced his DNA with hammerhead shark DNA. Paul is still alive? Alive? Oh, yes. But he's much more than that. Everyone thought he was dead. They must have done the whole thing. Oh, oh I just heard uh, Paul was dead. Well, right. I don't know, I just heard. Well, do you know how long a shark lives? No one does. Actually, one of the best characters in this film was William Forsythe. He was a badass. For a guy who worked like for a medical lab, he had some like Rambo styles going on here. And a nitrogen gun. Like, forget the flamethrower. I'm just gonna like be your caretaker, your lawn taker. I didn't know that, that my gardener had so much potential for badassery. Hunter Tyler was Probably one of the better actors as well. Not great, but she played our main lead. She was the ex-fiance of Sharkman, which is unfortunate. She had to deal with some shit. She was drawn here to basically be impregnated by the Sharkman himself and create uh, superhuman shark babies. Well, he wasn't He wasn't taking the other bait. He still fucked all the yeah, women and was, tried to have shark babies. They need his baby because his baby is going to be the perfect specimen to save humankind. Looking at him, he was more than half hammerhead shark. That guy was... But he was running on two feet. Yeah, that yeah but he had a tail, he had a shark head, and he had animal instincts way more than a man. He was in the yeah. water a lot more. That's what I'm saying. I like the look of the shark man. Oh, come on. I don't think you it was terrible. I don't think they it was so exit. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I like the concept of having a man with a shark head and a tail. Execution, not so much. We'll talk about that after. Production value of this movie was surprisingly higher than I thought it would be. They employed minimum two helicopters. There was gunfights, lots of Action, they blew up a lot of things. There's just like a lot of action in this film, which you kind of need in a shark movie. Regardless of if it's a man shark or not, you need some action. And if you're a shark man, you also need some action. I watched this movie 11 years ago for the first time, and I've never forgot the bad lines. Some of them have just stuck with me the whole time. How long do sharks live? Well, I have no idea. No one does. I use that in my everyday vernacular. Oh god, these shoes are ruined. She was a good actress up until that <laughs> point. To be fair, I feel like that was the worst acting part of the movie. I feel like the rest of the bad acting had to do with direction. Like, Igor had no bad scenes. He was flawless. His delivery was flawless. What makes you think we can control it? Nobody had solved this problem before because they couldn't look at the tiny, the DNA, right? <laughs> it's too it's small. Like, yeah, it's too fucking small, idiot. I don't have to say anything. I'm a doctor too. So I built a, a smaller microscope. So I built 
a more powerful microscope. Had he actually made the most powerful microscope, right. that room of researchers and DNA analysts yeah. would have been shitting their we pants. We could do a ton of shit with that. Yeah. We, we don't have to splice a man shark DNA. We, we could just do, take the atoms like, We could look at it. so much stuff. It would be amazing. We're just like, we're limited to like a, the electron microscope right now. And it's really super small. But do you know the stuff we could look at with that? <laughs> Your tiny food friends. They make yeah. hamburgers. Yeah. I do like very small food walking with ants YouTube channel. Check it out. They make little small food. Imagine what he could do. I don't want to hear anything negative about this movie. <laughs> now it's time for our dislikes. Going off of the concept of this film and how great of a concept it is, the execution, definitely not there. <laughs> the biggest disappointing factor in this movie is you have the potential of a great shark man and you don't even show it. It is nearly 100% CG, except for a couple like B-cam shots. It comes down to the either the shot types or the editing, but in any case, you cannot see like a full body shark man in one frame of this You're right, film. even underwater. Like not above or under, it doesn't matter. You need to know your audience, okay? Like I'm, show the fucking shark man. I want the total terror, guys. One hour later. There's nothing else to dislike about this movie. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> there is, there is. So, no, I took that pause as a definite indicator. What are you doing up there? Seems like a good spot for a picnic. I'm not saying that I dislike the movie because of the acting, but the acting is shit. Jeff Combs does a good job. That's who I thought could actually carry their lines. I, I can combine species, but I can't make them procreate. Everyone else was kind of not so great. I see you're still his right-hand man. I feel like even Jeff Combs had lines that looked like he was bad. Don't worry, my son. There's plenty of time to feast. I feel like it might have been bad direction the whole way through. It's Maybe very likely. It's very likely. Better. Oh, God, these shoes are ruined. I was disappointed that we didn't get enough on-screen kills. We saw more people die from bullet shots than we did shark kills. But I think there was too much of the action-y part of guys versus guys as opposed to shark man versus guys. Even the underwater kills, they were just like, cut to red water. Well, yeah, and we're used to that, so... That's what shark we, movies, We yeah. take that kind okay. of with a grain of salt as far as, like, yeah, we know we're gonna get some kills in red water. But the fact that, like, he could walk on land, but he didn't do it enough. He Why hardly did it at all. He hunted his prey on land, and then when they fell in water, he would eat them. He can show up in any water, by the way. He's basically a ghost oh, yeah. shark. Yeah. It, there's a little pond in the fucking forest. This woman needs to go there. To, it's too itchy. To wipe down some mosquito bites or something. I don't know. Oh, my God. Stop scratching. You'll spread it. It itches. No. And here we go. Shark man. <laughs> The other thing that was really weird was the tiki party. Why would anyone who works on that island go swimming fully aware that there is a shark looking to eat you? <laughs> That's a really good point. That is a great point, but also a huge benefit if you ever want a job. Well, except the minus the shark, man. If you want to come work on my <laughs> island, we got tiki parties every night. Oh, I We're see. We're partying, and there's an opportunity for the boss to triple your salary on a whim. I'm not going to- I'll triple your salary, just bring them in! Well, I don't think that's in the job description. He, he threw that out. That was like a, that was a plea for help. <laughs> you're right, you're right. That's just like, oh, and sometimes I will <laughs> yeah. raise the wages by threefold. <laughs> don't forget about the sweet three-eyed pig we have yes. on spits at all times. Right. No, I'd say everything's perfectly normal around here. I think it really boils down to we wanted more shark, man. Like, that's what I really wanted. It existed the entire movie, so it's not like they were keeping him a big secret or anything. We just needed him walking around. Is he still human? Because I would have thought, like, I really, really thought there would be a scene where he saw his ex-fiance and, like, let her go because, like, I oh, remember. It would be like a Shape of Water situation. You know what? The consistency of Shark Man's killing. At one point, he could chomp a person in half, but then one of the guys on the island was in the water for like five minutes and they pulled him out and he had just a couple scrapes on his face. <laughs> the two scrapes yeah. is like, he has three rows of fucking teeth for sure. Time for our final thoughts and ratings. Hammerhead was an okay film. It's got a really great concept 
with a really cool creature design. However, they drop the ball because the actual creature is not shown or does enough in this movie. He's a fucking shark man. Leverage the abilities that he has. Otherwise, it's just a shark movie. The production value was decent, but the acting was certainly subpar. I think it's funny, and I think people would really enjoy the terrible acting on a birdemic sort of level. Shit, here they come! And so that's why I'm giving it the rating that I'm giving it. So, so I'm gonna give this three top marksman shots at some guys on a boat out of five. Was this movie lacking in, uh... Skill in acting, maybe. Oh god, these shoes are ruined. Was it lacking in substance? Maybe. Did it have deficiencies in, I don't know, just about every fucking area there is? Yeah. I can see that. However, I watched this movie for the first time 10 or 11 years ago, and it's stuck with me ever since. And I love this movie, you guys. I've been actually looking for it for the past 10 years or so. So when you said that you found it, I've been, like, so excited. So maybe I'm biased. I don't give a fuck. This movie has staying power. And for that very reason, I love it. I think it's great. You fucking tell me what you will, and maybe it's the Bose Lug Trez Loggers. <laughs> so I gotta give this movie five preserved yet unpreserved specimens out of five. As a fan of Street Sharks, this is as close as we will ever get to a humanoid shark on land and water. And this film didn't deliver that. I was really disappointed. You only saw the back of the shark or quick cuts and you don't get those great shark kills that you would expect from a shark man. But at the same time, this had a campy nature to it and it is a fun film to watch with your friends. So with that being said, I'm gonna have to give this two Highland Fishermen out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you haven't and you do want to check it out, there are links in the description where you can find it. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay updated with everything, bloodbath, and beyond. And if you're from this movie, get at me. What do you have in mind? I want to put my dick out for them. <laughs>